Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So today I'm gonna be talking about my top nine must-haves for my natural hair. The things that if I was ever somehow on a desert island, I hope that I have all of these in my arsenal somehow, some way, because I cannot do without them. They all play a crucial, crucial role in my routine and they are not hair products. Oh no, these are the top nine things that are non-hair product related but are hair related that I have to have to keep me and my hair sane because it is sentient at this point it has its own mind it does what it wants to do they all play a part in helping me keep my hair as healthy as I possibly can first up we're gonna start with something that's in my hair right now one of my little trusty hair clips and these are not just any hair clips oh no this right here is the best hair clip that I've ever found for my hair and I've tried many 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 hair clips in my day just like so many other things in my hair care routine nothing is ever simple ever since I was a little girl ever since I was relaxed I hated bobby pins my scalp is very sensitive and bobby pins hurt my scalp just like the proximity there getting in there it hurts it's not a good time so I tried so many different ways for me to be able to pin my hair up something as simple as putting my hair in the sections my hair doesn't like duck bill clips it doesn't stay it falls right out this is the pinnacle of perfection for me in a hair clip and of course it is discontinued just like so many other things that I found in my routine that my hair loves this is the goody ouchless non-metal hair clip and I y'all spent a good hour last night trying to find this on eBay Amazon can't find it it used to come in a purple pack I ended up getting so many packs of these when our Kmart went out of business because I knew it was very likely that I would never see it again but just like the name entails where it is meeting in the middle here it is not metal so it doesn't snag my hair they also are so much better lasting than the ones like this that do have that metal spring right in the right in the belly right here these break a lot easier whereas this one that is completely plastic no metal it is more gentle on my hair this clip is the reason why no matter where i am out of town i will try to hit up at least a few random drug stores to see if i come upon this particular clip because if I see it I'm clearing that rack out now in that same category we've got a clip like this is another winner and I think that these are still being made I think these are also by goodie usually comes in like a pack of three or something but it'll come with a clear one and usually a brown one the second must-have item in my hair care arsenal that I have to have is extra large shower caps not only do I have a lot of hair but I just have a big head in general so I need something that can accommodate all this head and all all this hair just a standard issue shower cap will not do I need the big leagues even with these I still have to use like four at a time to cover all my hair because I want to make sure there is no water getting through especially if my hair is straight even when my hair is curly I like to try to seal at that moisture when I'm in the shower for the most part because all it takes is one little hint of moisture and it's bye bye straight hair I love these all so much they're in no particular order my third must-have item are my Grey Soleil, after all these years, I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but my Grey Soleil slap caps. I got these one year during Black Friday. They had an amazing sale. And a few people told me after I posted that haul for Black Friday that subsequent sales weren't as good as that one. The sale where I stocked up on a ton of these was buy one, get one free. And the base price for the one that you were buying was only $12. These are normally $24 each. So that sale was ridiculous. So I've heard from some people that usually the sale now around the holidays for the BOGO is buy one get one free, but it's $24 as the base. So if you've never heard of a slap cap, it is a satin lined hat. So this is a curly natural girl's dream. You're able to preserve your hair, preserve your style without drying it out, keep yourself warm while going about your business. Maybe your twists aren't dry completely. Maybe you're deep conditioning on the go and you don't just want to like throw in your hoodie. You want to do something a little bit cute. So the slap caps come in handy big time. So the first time I ever heard about these was when Whitney Natural 85 was talking about them. But I was like, there's no way that that hat is going to fit my big old head. I have never been someone 
Cuckoo's been able to wear hats really even when I was relaxed. You, you can't change the skull. But that seal was so good I decided to finally take a chance and the reason was because of Miss Quinn Ray. She single handedly made me want to try these so bad. So they come in a few different color options. Me being me I ended up getting a ton of them in black because it goes with everything. But I got like this cute little navy blue color and as you can see it's a size medium. So it fits my big old dome somehow some way. But I found out that they also make them now in a large but not in every color and those seem to sell out really quickly also. But these fit me without being too tight or anything and I have not worn these with any straight hair actually so this is the first time and I'm getting hair all in my eyeball it's very very comfortable and it does keep your head warm they do have some like actual hats on the website that are like super super thick but for our weather here this is perfect although these are cute enough to wear for aesthetics they can go with so many different outfits the main way that I end up wearing my slap caps is if I'm deep conditioning and I have to go out and run errands before I would go out with a ton of different scarves and then put on my hoodie and zip it all the way up even in the summertime and y'all I felt like I was having having a heat stroke some days it was rough so now what I do is I will put on one of my slap caps even with all my shower caps and everything it hides that all away so I can go out and about and decondition on the go without looking absolutely crazy now this next one is long lasting durable I have had it for so long that even the backup that I bought to replace it still hasn't come out of the original packaging because the original is still so good and that is my hothead heating cap I did a full review on this y'all this thing is still in perfect perfect condition after all this time so if you've never heard of hotheads before they are from a brand called thermal hair care they are microwavable deep conditioning hair bonnets and for someone like me who has low porosity strands that do not want to open up and receive that moisture this is key it helps to gently open up my strands with moisturizing heat you put your deep conditioner on slap a plastic cap on it pop this bad boy in the microwave for two minutes Put it on and you are good to go now this cute little flower design is actually filled with a bunch of flax seeds and that is what is holding that heat after you take it out of the microwave i would say that this stays warm for me maybe 40 45 minutes and that makes all the difference between for example a lackluster deep conditioner actually doing something for your hair by combining it with a hot head likewise you can take my hg deep conditioners from amazing to ridiculously amazing just by adding that indirect heat source they come in a ton of different patterns varieties and I think they even have an extra large version of the hotheads now as well but again even though I have a big head and a lot of hair this fits me perfectly just a standard size speaking of pretty patterns if you guys have been on YouTube with me for a while or even over on my Instagram even more so I love stars the galaxy Milky Way all that so when they came out with this galaxy print I was all over it look how beautiful that is this is actually my second Second one because I have another one that whenever we reach that 10,000 subscriber goal on here I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping this is the year but whenever it happens I picked up another one of these beautiful galaxy hotheads to include in my giveaway whenever we hit that milestone so this one whenever I eventually open this up this has already lasted me forever and a day so this is gonna take me into like the next like decade or so now although I said earlier in this video that there isn't some type of like special number list where there's like a top number one or clear-cut favorite if there was this would by far be in the top two top three these are my hair cutting shears I've had these since I worked at Ulta my freshman year of college back in 2006 so these are y'all know I was an English major so this is just struggle city 16 years old 2006 2022 yeah I think these are freaking 16 years old these are they I'm just gonna show y'all cuz I'm gonna butcher this name I think it's French yeah it says day petty so yeah this is the Gilberti day petty Japanese stainless steel scissors here is the name these are the Japanese stainless steel shears ice tempered surgical stainless steel and here is the item number right here if you want to check them out I've actually been trying to find a backup pair of these because they are the best hair cutting shears I have ever owned and I think I've owned maybe like 
eight or nine pairs in all the years that I've been natural because I do all of my own trimming to my hair if I want to experiment with layers I'll you know let's see what happens I'll do a little bit of Edward scissor hands up in here so having a great pair of scissors is crucial so if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while you may remember that I did a whole different review on another pair of hair cutting shears and it is the main choice hair cutting shears and as you can see they are completely molting they've lost that cute little purple coating and actually catches on my hair now when I was using these still they also aren't as sharp as they used to be I do still like the whole ergonomic handle like with the three little places to put your fingers that's really nice it gives you like a lot of control over the scissors but they do not compare to my old purchase at Ulta for probably like 10 bucks hair cutting shears now just like my hair clips I use these for a variety of different purposes mostly for styling to get my hair on my face when I'm working out if I'm just laying around the house and I don't want to put my scarves on but I also don't want my hair all around my face because it's hot and that's where my scrunchies come in I love my little satin black scrunchies this is actually a new one that I got from Express I actually have another video on my channel because I got a ton of different little black satin scrunchies custom made on Etsy years ago before scrunchies came back in style like they are now where you can get scrunchies pretty much at Target, Walmart, wherever but I had them custom made and the ones that I got from that company which I don't know is still in business because it was a while ago but they are still in perfect condition there's no fraying at the seams where they were made or anything they're great but this is just to give you an example I also have ones like these that are more so the size that I'll wear because although my hair is very thick and this will get lost in my hair I tend to like the ones like these that are a little bit less voluminous because it's easier for me to do like ponytails or buns something like this it's a little bit less versatile than ones that are like maybe this medium type of size these little tiny scrunchies are great also they're very very stretchy I think these are from scoonchie the reason I love scrunchies is that number one they actually go around my hair unlike a lot of elastics that my hair can break and maintain their shape all without pulling or creating any tension on my hair scalp which is perfect it doesn't leave that weird bump or hump in your hair when you take them down great if you don't want to mess up your style but you still want to put your hair up this next one is kind of related these are my little rubberized hair ties I have a bunch of fun colors but of course the ones that I use the most are these black ones so unlike the ones that are cloth they're not gonna sap those vital oils from your hair and create a lot of breakage and friction they also are really great for me to be able to use on wet hair without causing any breakage or damage I love them I use these a lot for banding also when I'm playing around with that style because they don't have that discernible seam right the middle that you find with a lot of cloth hair ties like this I don't get a bunch of shed hair looped around there and unlike a few things on this list these are very very easily accessible for the most part I get these from Target Walmart my best friend John he wears his hair in a long ponytail he wears wears these every day too so whenever he runs it ah, that's gonna be fun to clean up so whenever he runs out he just comes and gets one of these I do like these smaller so oh, a little like Harry Potter especially for securing the ends of my hair something like this I can wrap around my hair but it's a little bigger so these are great for being able to secure without me having to loop it around the ends a thousand times but they are harder to find I just happen to find these randomly at Walgreens no at Rite Aid same with these little even teenier ones they're all from the scoonchy brand though so these hopefully are on Amazon or something the smaller rubberized version of the bigger ones and rounding out my last two hair must-haves they're kind of sort of cousins but Ally Express has been the place where I get the bulk of my scarves for fashion as well as for sleep so these are my little fashion scarves that I will wear like as a headband and they're really really cheap I think these I think on average were like two to three bucks and I just typed into the search engine skinny neck scarf then it's just a matter of finding the different styles and designs you like these are just so cute so comfortable I've also used these to work out in if I'm going like to throw the frisbee with John or if we're going on a hike or something I'll use this to tie my hair back when I don't want to do like a full scarf or anything because it's hot outside and these are just the ones that I grabbed for the video I have a ton of other ones and a lot of different other patterns 
I have a Scorpio one. I have one that's kind of like a Van Gogh Starry Night type of vibe. These scarves are perfect for adding a little bit of fun accent and I can't find them anywhere on the ground so AliExpress is a perfect place for me to do that. I've never run into any type of issues ordering from them. I had not been able to find and this is the last item on my list sleeping scarves y'all I searched high and low for these before I found Aliexpress I had the same sleep scarves for like 10 years so they were literally falling apart at that point and around in my area you can't just go to a beauty supply store and find some good quality scarves. I found mine actually at Steinmart randomly when my mom and I were on vacation. I was like, these are the perfect scarves. They're the perfect texture for my hair. They're soft and slippery and won't cause any breakage. So I stocked up at Steinmart. Rest in peace, Steinmart, because I think all of them are going out of business now. When those started to disintegrate, I didn't know what to do because I couldn't find any. I don't think I typed in head scarves. I think I typed large scarves or large satin scarves and that's what brought all these up and there are so many vendors you guys it's almost overwhelming these you guys have seen in so many of my videos I will often wear these as a little tube top when I'm doing my YouTube videos and my reviews when I'm styling my hair I don't want to wear like a shirt or anything that can cause my ends to frizz up a bit when it touches the material of the cotton so when possible I like to just throw one of these little scarves on and I get more frizz free results that way and all my product stays on my hair not absorbed by my clothing so that works perfectly I will usually layer a few of these on at night just to make sure that every single millimeter of my hair is covered because if one of my scarves comes off it's a wrap something's being frizzy the next morning but these are so so huge so beautiful too these patterns are just gorgeous and it has that silky material I will put the side that is this type of material face down touching my hair and just like the little skinny scarves I have so many of these these are just a few examples but if you guys have been watching my videos you know that I wear these when I'm styling my hair and they're just so crucial from my nighttime routine to my styling routine and like I said the patterns are just gorgeous so let me know in the comment section what are some of your favorite non-product must-haves so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video anything that i have a link for i will place in the description box some of these things unfortunately i can't find a link if i could i would be buying backups of some of these things in case something happens to them so if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up that really helps to boost my channel in the youtube algorithm and if you haven't subscribed already please do so as well that would be awesome i would love to have you i'm about to put my hair right back in a bun throw on some of these scarves and listen to a podcast remember that i upload videos every friday and i will see you in the next one take care guys bye